Hey guys, so uh, I wanted to record a video just for the silk toss uh, to make sure that I'm giving you as much information as possible. So, the way you do a silk toss is you want to start with your left hand. So make sure you've got your left hand. The silk is on my right side, and I'm going to turn around in a second just so you make sure my left hand is right outside of that cheater tape that you have on your pole, uh, the one that's closest to the tab, and it's over. So my thumb is facing towards the top tip, towards the silk. My right hand, I take it and I put it in, I like stick it through, stick it through the flag or under the flag, and then I'm gonna grab under, thumb also facing the top of the silk, and grab that tape that's in the silk. So if you're looking at from me from the behind, this is how you would look. This is on my right side, and I'm grabbing through the flag and grabbing into the silk. My left hand is over. So I'm gonna start at about chin level, chin level, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a stir. So you'll count yourself off and you'll go five and six, and five, six, seven, eight, one and two. And you'll just crisscross, stir in front. To break the stir down a little bit further, what you'll wanna do is count one, is going to be straight down in this position here, the bottom, the bottom stir, okay? Let's count one. Count two, or count one and, is when you cross and you have that nice window effect. So from the side again, it's and. All right, count two is when you're going to open the, the crisscross. So that would be that last position of the cone exercise, and that's count two. So what that would look like is five, six, seven, eight, one and two. Nice and smooth, one and two. Make sure it's not super choppy where you're going like five, six, seven, eight, one and two. You want it to be nice and smooth, five, six, seven, eight, one and two. On count two and, you're going to push down just with your left hand. Right hand is gonna stay on the flag. This is what sets you up for success with this toss and this is what makes this toss a little bit different than other ones is one hand goes first. It's like a cause and effect. This hand goes first and is the cause and then this hand would go second which is the effect, okay? So you wanna take your left hand and for a few times I want you to practice about five, six, seven, eight, one and two and and then just letting this swing, letting it swing. So once again, from the back to the five, six, seven, eight, one and two, and, and letting it swing. So once you get comfortable doing that, and like I said, you need to do that for a few times, I would suggest probably five to 10 times, just so you really get comfortable going one and two, and, and letting it swing. Once you get comfortable with that, to throw a single, the flag is gonna rotate from this position all the way back to that same position. You're gonna catch with your right hand over at the tab, over so thumb is now up towards the bottom stopper, left hand under at the, tab, uh, at the cheater tape, also thumb towards the bottom stopper. So from the back, you'll catch like this. And to throw the single, you're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, one and two, and out, squeeze. So it rotates up and then back down into your hand. So five, five, six, seven, eight, one and two, and out, squeeze. And you'll catch nice and strong. You need to do three of those in your video assignment. The doubles, we just wanna see you attempt to double don't get freaked out if, if you can't do the full double, but what you're gonna do with the double is the same process, one and two and, but you're gonna, instead of it just being releasing here and you're keeping your hand here, you're gonna lift up nice and high to let it go, so you're gonna release with it and you're gonna push nice and hard and go five, six, seven, eight, one and two, down, out, up, squeeze. And this needs to rotate twice, so it's gonna, instead of stopping here, it would continue going one more time to here. You catch it just the same, you just need a little bit more power. So once again, five and six, and five, six, seven, eight, one and two, down, out, up, move. And that's how you throw a double, or a silk toss.